welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make an extremely delicious, spicy and crunchy tea time snack bakarwadi. The outer cover is made with all purpose flour or maida and the inside filling is made with coconut, sesame seeds and some other Indian spices that have a unique flavor of their own. So let us start with the ingredients. For the outer cover you will need all purpose flour 1 cup 2 tablespoons oil and half a teaspoon salt. For the filling you will need dry grated coconut half a cup, chopped coriander leaves one fourth of a cup, cumin powder half a tablespoon, coriander powder one tablespoon, three small crushed green chilies, sesame seeds two tablespoons, red chilli powder one teaspoon, sugar three teaspoons, salt by taste, medium thick save three fourth of a cup, Concentrated tamarind pulp 1 fourth of a tablespoon. Plus you will also need oil for deep frying the bakarwadi. First we are going to heat up this oil for 2 to 3 minutes to add to the flour. While the oil is being heated add little salt just about half a teaspoon to this all purpose flour. Now add the heated oil and now slowly add water little at a time to make a semi hard dough. Let us keep this dough aside for some time and prepare the filling. To prepare the filling we are first going to dry roast this grated coconut till it becomes slightly brownish in color. Now transfer this to another bowl where we are going to mix all the filling together. In the same pan we are now going to roast the sesame seeds till they become slightly brownish. And now transfer the sesame seeds to the same mixing bowl. To the coconut and the sesame seeds now add the rest of the ingredients the red chilli powder, green chilies coriander powder and cumin powder, chopped coriander leaves, sugar, salt and concentrated tamarind pulp. Here I am using the concentrated pulp so I am using only one fourth of a tablespoon. Instead if you are making a fresh pulp by soaking a dry tamarind in water then you can use half a tablespoon of it. Now mix everything lightly and now we are going to pulse it through a grinder for just a few seconds so that everything gets blended up nicely. Now add the save and grind it again just for a few seconds. So our filling is now ready. Now divide the dough into two equal parts. Roll each part between your palms and press to flatten. Now let us also roughly divide the filling as well into two equal parts. Before starting to roll the bakarwadis, start heating the oil for deep frying. Also keep a small bowl with little water handy. Now take one portion of the dough and roll it into a thin circle about 1 to 2 millimeters thick. Now by dipping your fingers in the water just apply little water all over the surface of this circle and then spread one part of the filling evenly all over the surface. Press it down firmly so that it sticks to the dough and then roll it tightly to make a cylinder. Flatten it nicely and then Cut it into small pieces about 1 inch big. Test the temperature of oil by dropping a small portion of the dough. If it rises immediately to the surface that means the oil is hot. Add the first batch of the bakarwadis and deep fry them on low heat by stirring intermittently and continue to fry till they get golden brown color. Always fry them on low flame so that they are nice and crispy from deep inside. Each batch should get fried for at least 3 to 4 minutes and while the first batch is getting fried you can start preparing the next batch using the remaining dough and the filling. And when they are done remove them on a paper towel. And repeat the same with the second batch of the bakarwadis. Always allow them to cool completely before storing in an airtight container. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your tea time today with delicious bakarwadi made at home. For detailed instructions, please visit my website at uma.kitchen. <laughs>